Hey, we have here today a pretty tricky looking integral from MIT 2012, problem four. We have the integral of dx over the square root of x, um, fourth root of x plus one to the 10th power. Okay, and the reason this looks so tricky, um, we have kind of quite a few problems here. We have, we have this fourth root here in this expression, and we have a 10th power. So there's a few things that are gonna make this a little difficult for us. What I wanna do to start is I wanna, let's just, I'm gonna bring this into my numerator and rewrite that in that form just because I think I want to do, I think I want to set up a u substitution that's going to make it a little cleaner if I put that in the numerator. Okay, so all I've done now is I'm just kind of explicitly stating my powers as fractions on my x here. And then for the u substitution, now this is tricky because it's not going to quite work out as clean as we'd like. I'm going to try to make this my u and just see if we can make that work. So let's call u x to the 1 4th plus 1. And then our du, just taking the derivative of this with the power rule, is going to be 1 over 4 x to the minus 3 fourths dx, derivative of 1 is 0. And this isn't too bad, so we're going to have a u to the 10th when we make our substitution. And the trouble is we don't really have what we want here in the numerator. And what I'm wondering is if I can somehow write, if I can rewrite my numerator um, so that we can kind of use this. Let's see how this is going to work. I'm going to... So first I'm gonna create this 1 fourth out front, but I need to multiply by four, so I'm not changing it, we're just multiplying by one. And then I'm just gonna kind of force this whole, um, our whole du into the numerator right now. But then, now we have changed it, because we have x to the minus 1 half here, and we have x to the minus 3 fourths here. But what I can do is, let's just notice that x to the minus 3 fourths times x to the 1 fourth equals x to the minus 1 half just with exponent rules. So then what we need is what we're missing up here is an x to the 1 fourth. So let me just kind of create that. Okay, so now that I've rewritten this where we have our du up here and we have our x to the 1 fourth, um, we're pretty much ready to make our u substitution. One thing I know for this x to the 1 fourth, we can get a value for that right here just by subtracting one. x to the 1 fourth is just gonna be u minus one. So let's make this substitution now. We'll have our four out front. We'll have u minus one. This piece here is gonna be du, okay? And then in our denominator, we're just gonna have u to the 10th. When we divide this in, we'll end up with two terms. So let's see how this is gonna look. Well, four, uh, u to the minus ninth, dividing into the u, and then we'll, have, then we'll have a minus u to the minus 10th du. And we'll just integrate this. We're gonna have four, uh, u to the minus eight over eight. We'll have a negative there, and then we're gonna have, um, Let's see, there's a minus there. And we'll have a u to the minus nine over a minus nine, but that'll just change the sign to a plus. So then we'll have four over nine u to the ninth minus four over eight u to the eighth. Uh, we'll just cancel that and we'll have a two here. Then let's get a common denominator. So I'll multiply two over two here. And then here we'll multiply by uh, nine u on top and bottom. So then now we have a common denominator. Okay, so then multiplying, now we can combine these terms. We're gonna have eight minus nine u over 18 u to the ninth. And now is a good place to back substitute. We have our value right here. So let's do our substitution. We'll have eight minus nine times this thing over 18, same thing. Here's our u, it's gonna be four through to x plus one to the ninth. And then I think kind of the last step We'll just multiply in this nine. So we're gonna end up with, we'll have a minus nine, four through to x, that's a four. We'll have a minus nine here, plus an eight is gonna be a minus one. All over this 18, four through to x plus one to the ninth. And then actually just to match their solution, I'll pull out a minus sign and change this to a plus. And that's it. Good problem today. It was MIT 2012. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.